He said, he said. Who do you strap? Strap for what? Nah, just playing. You need straps. Don't listen to me. Oh, but take it on to the house. Today is the day. Today is the day. You ready to go pick it up? It was already on a quarter tank. I don't know how it still took 50 bucks. 27 gallons of fuel. But she did. Two boxes out. Had the hitch flipped over. And then couldn't get ready to drive this 45 minutes. We here. Made it. Truck didn't waste too much gas. 45. We're really like a 40 minute ride. Doing like 80. So, be ready. They're about to come out. Got pick work. I turn the boy around, go get that way. Well, I might as well go over there. Amen. Amen. It's here. I ain't even bring no straps. I just knew it was going to be two flat ones. But the top one only 210 pounds. So, risk case scenario, I just push it over. This is both of them right here. Dropped off in the truck. How's it going? I'm pretty good. How are you? All right. Boom. Yeah, yeah. You got to take that top one off. Yeah, I'm gonna take the top one off. Okay. Set, he set. Who do you strap? Strap for what? Nah, just playing. You need straps. Don't listen to me. Oh, but take it on to the house. Bright ring light. All right, so man, this is what I'm doing. I have to back the truck up, get it right here. My plan, don't know if it's gonna go well, is to drop both the mount and balancer in the garage, move the truck, get the car back in the driveway, get my tool box, tool box back in the truck, and then uh, do them splinters for my box Chevy, get them loaded so I can take it and put it in the car. But I got the small little area clear. This thing right here was here before I got here. But the box Chevy, the Fuel 60E did that. And this, this is uh, awesome. I just filled it. Where is it? I think it's over here now. Yeah. Yeah, all that's awesome. And that's from that bucket I was using. This bucket. But all that'll come up. So I'm, I'm gonna end up, like, before I leave, paint this garage floor anyway. So, look like nothing ever happened. Um, but yeah. So this is the area for the mount balance machine. And it's gonna get his first use today. Hopefully, it came with some uh, weights and a hammer. If it didn't, then I just mount them. Don't balance them. Wait till the balance, sir. Uh, weights and I'm just wait till the weights and hammer come in. But yeah, about to go ahead, put this on the stand, and then back the truck up. I got the hoist worst case scenario, which I'm sure I'm gonna need it for the mounter because it's 450 pounds, but the balancer is 210. Should be able to work something with them too. So I'm about to get to
forklift will come in handy. Soon to come when I move. All right, man, I opened it up. And there's nothing I can like really take out unless I open the package because everything's wrapped. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. Two things that could have made it, three things could have made this easier for me. One, another person that can lift like 200 pounds. Two, a uh, two two by four that can fit on the uh, tailgate and you can slide down. Three, a ramp that could uh, I could put on the tailgate and slide down. Cause I can lift it up on one edge by myself, but I can't hit the whole thing up like this one. Um, so, mm, I'm calling something. I got a toy chain right here. I got a ratchet, a big ratchet strap in this truck. So, I don't know. I'm finna come up with something. I might have to use this uh, shop, shop crane with, I don't even know what I call it, that cherry picker. And uh, probably wrap like a bow, one, not, one side and then the other side, hoist it up and drop it in here. That's one thing I might have to do. Cause uh, I don't see anything else that could possibly be effective without breaking it. So, give uh, that a try. This way goes towards the wall. Don't look like too much to set it up. Just uh, put this, the, like the top piece that you use to loosen and put on the tire. Loosen and yeah, I, I said it right. I'm trying to, I think I said it wrong. So that piece go up here. Oh, you come, <coughs> bless me, come with some instructions. So once I get over that to the wall, I'm pulling instructions out. It comes with a digital pressure gauge, I'd rather have a manual one because they go bad. We have a picture for all these. So the way you need it. Go in out. Suspend it. Spin it. Spin it. Need it to go in. Need to go out, and this is for oh, ain't no air in there, so that's to uh, close that arm on there to get that tire uh, bead broken. Comes with some slip tack, or is this just the bottom? Yeah, it got some slip tack in there. Just put a little soap, but I don't know if it comes with a brush. Let's see. Yep, comes with a brush. So. I'm gonna set it up in a second, about to push it to the wall. Took a whole lot. So, I had to mount this for some leverage, push the back of it. And when I did that, come up, and I stuck the wheels back there. So, now I just gotta push it forward and then move the wheels. So, the balancer, I'm gonna stick right here and uh, do the same thing with the wheels. But that'd be pretty much, uh, I ain't gonna say pretty much easy, but a lot easier because they only weigh 200 pounds. It's 450 right here. But yeah, get it. You don't like a, a much to set it up though. Um, so these are extra feet right here. This piece here goes here. So when you swing this arm, it's tight because it's still new. But when you swing this arm and you don't want it to go in no more on the tire, just tighten this up and it'll stop where you want it to stop it with this right here. That's what that's for. So that and the brush for the tire so you put the slip pack on it and then extra feet. So I guess just tell you how to use it because uh, everything else is like pretty much self-explanatory. Oh, you actually set up for first use. Not too sure if I'm gonna use it tonight, but it is set up. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, 
so this was just tight. But well, okay, got it. Okay, yeah, so I wasn't sure what all this came with. It just comes with the different size uh, pieces that go in between the wheel and the balancer to make it flush and the hammer. So no weights. It came with one weight. That's it. So, yeah. And this is a Chinese wheel. I'm not too sure why you need this. I'll look at the instructions and make sure because uh, the size that I need should be on the tire. Oh, this is for the width. Okay, all right. Yeah, so I use this for B, the width. I'm guessing. If not, I got the instructions over there. Yeah, I'm set. I'm um, set.